Hello again, Mr. Uh, CEO Roberts. Dr. Hamed, uh, I'd like to update Miss Spencer. The nurse is telling me she's awake. Yeah, come on. Someone's popular. Huh, doctors don't count. I'd like to do a quick physical exam, Miss Spencer. I think he wants you to leave, Marty. Behave. Oh, come on, I'm reformed. <sighs> he seems nice. Mm. How are you feeling? Like I lost the fight. Well, I'd have to see your opponent to know for sure. I guess if I don't make it, we'll know she won. Well, let's not call it just yet. Deep breath. The wound to your abdomen sliced an artery, which we sealed in the trauma bay and repaired an OR. You lost a significant amount of blood, but we're stable now. Feels like I was hit by a truck. Well, pain at this point is normal. My vision's blurry, and there's like uh, pins and needles in my arms. Is that normal too? Give me your hands. Just this one. Those symptoms are common lingering effects of anesthesia. We'll keep an eye on it to make sure nothing's wrong. And hopefully you'll be in good shape before you go home. Go back. I've been in lockup my entire adult life. It is home. Um, a nurse will be here to give you something for the pain. And in the meantime, if there's anything you need, you let us know. Hey, um, actually, yeah, do you... Do you think maybe someone could um, get in touch with my mother? Not exactly on the best of terms, but maybe if you tell her I was on death's door and all that. Are you allowed visitors? She's willing to come. I think Marty will let her in. She can't feel her arms or legs. Yeah. Nicole, can you wiggle your fingers for me? I can't. Is this still the anesthetic? That's unlikely. Are you on any other medication? No, nothing. Narcotics, would I find anything in your system? Jesus, you didn't. No, I didn't, but I, I did get in a fight with Gina. More fights? When was this? Yesterday. Gina stabbing him with a needle. Where? If someone has it out for you, you need to come to me. I started it, okay? Nicole, where were you stabbed? In my left thigh. What are you doing, Nick? Hey, this is infected. Any idea what was in that needle? Heroin at some point, probably. So this is from an infection? Possibly. We'll aspirate and run a toxin to confirm. Can you stop it? Depends on what we're dealing with. You're almost getting out. What are you thinking? I get it, you're pissed. You made your point, okay? Are you trying to blow your release? Because that's what you're doing here, Nick. I'll be right back. It's getting worse. I, I can't feel my arms, it's harder to breathe. The talk screen confirmed you have what's called wound botulism from whatever bacteria was in that needle. Botulism? That's why she can't move? Botulism can cause double vision and paralysis of voluntary muscles. You can give her antibiotics. With an infection this serious, we use a targeted antitoxin. It's being prepared right now. What? What? The medication is time sensitive. Without knowing how far the infection has progressed, we can't be sure it will work before paralysis takes a hold of your major body functions like your heart and lungs. Which means uh, she stops breathing? She dies? Guess I might lose that fight after all. We're going to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, hey, you are not losing this fight. You got that, Nick? Dr. Hummel, Dr. Hummel. Yes, sir? Hey. When are we gonna know if this drug you're giving her is gonna work? Once we start the infusion, we keep an eye out for negative reactions. After that, it's wait and see. There's nothing else we can do in the meantime? No, sorry. Nicole asked me to contact her mother. A uh, social worker is trying to reach her. 13 years she's been in Max. Mother never showed, not once. You said earlier that she was getting out. Her release is soon? Yeah, statutory after two thirds of her haul. Never slipped up once until now. Nick was a kid when she came in. My own daughter was just born at the time. Anyway, she worked hard to change. But bringing this trouble on herself. You see that when they don't want to go. When they're scared to. All right, thanks. It's not 
working. You're not responding to treatment as well as we'd hoped. Did you get in touch with my mother? Our, uh, our social worker spoke with her, but... She's not coming. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Nicole. <laughs> That's heartbreaking. She shut down. She wouldn't discuss any other treatment options with me after that. Why do you think that was? With her prison term coming to an end, I think that she thought if her mother would forgive her, that she would deserve to get out. The same reason she was starting fights. Because your patient didn't think she deserved her release. And knowing that her mother wouldn't come even when she was so sick made her give up on life. Listen to the doctor. All he wants is your consent. What's the point? Is there a shift change? Don't you cut a punch out? The infection isn't stopping. It's going to reach your respiratory system. What happens if she doesn't take the new medication? If things continue as they are, she's going to stop breathing within the next 24 hours. You hear that? He says you'll die. I don't care. Don't say that. Don't do this. Mm -hmm. Doc, please, you got to talk to her. He's right, Nicole. You don't have to give up. You don't deserve to die from this. You don't know me. You don't know what I deserve. But I do. I killed someone, Marty. I took an innocent man away from his family, his two kids, just for the cash in his till. It was a different person who did that. <laughs> the law says you paid your debt. Well, I don't. He's dead. Why do I get to live? Just just go home. Just leave. <laughs> um, Arnold, Nicole Spencer, what is she? Uh, they moved her to ICU overnight. She lost consciousness. Blood pressure's low, O2 sats are still falling. They upped the infusion of antitoxin, but... She's not responding. She's going to respiratory failure. Do you want to intubate? Dr. Hamed? We're going to try a synthetic adenovirus. Hey, Mr. Robert. <sighs> Nick's on the new meds. <laughs> and her deterioration's holding. She's still critical, but we're hopeful. She did shoot that man. But what she didn't mention was the abusive boyfriend who dragged her into it. And he's doing life for that and another crime that she had nothing to do with. Nick never had anyone to look out for her. Her first year inside, she was too scared to sleep. So we sat up nights playing Scrabble until she could. Give that to her when she wakes up. I guess she did have someone looking out for her. What happened? You survived. I survived or you saved me. I made the judgment call when your life was in danger. Yours was a fight I refused to lose. <laughs> Marty, bring these. You ever play? With my little sister, when she was learning English, it helped with their spelling. Hey, good to see you up. Good to be up. You got time for a quick game or what? Yeah, carve out a few minutes. All right, I'm gonna beat you though. Yeah, well, there's a first for everything. Good? Why not let you pick first? 